I know girls, right? They feel like a woman should be in control of the relationship 100%. I know girls, right, who have said to me, what's wrong with this, right? Now, listen, there's certain girls out here, right? They feel like they should be kept women. The women feel like they should live at home and stay at home. And this sounds fucking crazy, right? The man should go to work. The woman stays at home. Yeah? The money the man earns goes into the woman's account and she breaks off money and gives him pocket money. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. There are women who have this ideology in their mind. Do you know why? Because they've seen their mum do that to their dad, their set father. Yeah. I know I used to see a girl like that. She has that ideology, yeah, where the woman is kind of like they lead the relationship or whatever. Yeah. And I'm like, where the fuck does this woman get this type of mindset from? Yeah. What happened was I met the stepfather, right, who's with the, the girl's mum, and he's very soft and passive. Well, if a man is very soft and passive, then naturally the woman must be aggressive, yeah? And I've seen the mum and I've spoken to her on the phone and I can tell, yeah, she's a strong woman, right? And usually strong women go for weak men, right? The polar opposites, yeah? In a relationship, someone's always going to be the stronger person, yeah? Someone's always going to be, you know, the boss and someone's going to be the bitch, yeah? I know which one I'm going to be, yeah? So, yeah, the 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 woman, the mum, she's the boss. So naturally, the stepfather's going to be the bitch, yeah? And he's very passive, yeah? I even met a man one time, yeah? I remember <laughs> I was on a... Um, I know some boy from Taekwondo, and he told me his... Um, his parents need some work doing at the house or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? Now, back in the day, this boy I know from Taekwondo was really young and his dad used to drive him from Enfield to Tottenham to practice Taekwondo, isn't it? Yeah? So I used to see the dad or whatever, and I just remember the dad is a very passive black man, but he's soft, very quiet, very meek, very timid type of man, yeah? And it was so funny, you know, I saw the dad at a Taekwondo competition when I last, so the same time I saw the guy who said to me, oh, my parents need some electrical work doing, right? And I saw the dad, right? And I just, this this just thought just occurred to me, innit? I, I bet you the mum is really aggressive and she's the one who runs the relationship. Well, guess what? Yeah? And I might as well get into this story right now, yeah? So I've gone to, so the boy said to me, my parents need some work doing at my house, yeah? Well, he said to me, can you go to my parents' house in Enfield, Bushel Park, yeah, on Sunday the 18th of whatever month, yeah? Boom. Sunday the 18th has come. I've arrived at the house at 11 o'clock, which they asked me to turn up, yeah? I've knocked at the door, no response, yeah? Knocked again, no response. Now, they've got a door... And then another door or whatever in it, yeah. So that's probably why they couldn't hear me, or whatever in it, yeah. So I've moved away from the people's house and I phoned the boy and said, Can you call your parents to let them know that I'm outside the front of the house? Yeah. He said, Yeah, yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah. So I've gone and I've moved away from the house and I've sat on top of I've sat on my car bonnet, yeah. So I'm sitting on my car bonnet, yeah, with my legs wide apart or whatever in it, like this, isn't it? Yeah? I see someone come to the um, the window and move the curtains, but it was really dark inside the house, right? And I couldn't see it was, and I didn't even look. I just saw at the corner of my eye, someone has come to the curtains and they've opened the curtains and they've looked at me and they're staring at me for like a good five seconds and then they just push the curtains back or whatever. It, whatever. The mum comes to the door now, yeah? And she's talking to the son on the phone, isn't it, yeah? So I've gone up to the mum and said, hey, you're right, whatever, I'm the electrician or whatever, isn't it? So I had my earphones in my ear, innit? But I'm not listening to music, right? I just had my earphones in my ear. And she said, oh, you should have knocked louder. And I was like, I, I did knock loud, yeah? I was like, I didn't even want to break the door because the door looked a bit weak or whatever, innit? Yeah, so I don't want to hit the door hard or whatever, innit? She was like, oh, you, next time, make sure you knock louder, right? And don't don't wear your earphones in your ear so you can hear how, how loud you knock. Why are you even talking like that? Well, I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, innit? Boom. So gone through the house, walk through the house now, nah, yeah. So I can tell right then and there, I'm the type of man, I will automatically clash 
with a feminist type of woman, right? Feminist type of women don't like strong men, right? Fe feminist type of women, they hate men who are strong, right? Feminist type of women, they only like men who are weak and passive, right? So naturally, when a feminist type of woman meets uh, a strong male, right, there's usually going to be some kind of tension, yeah, because I ain't backing down, yeah? Yeah, yeah, let's just get this clear now, yeah? I ain't having no, no one push me around letting on a fucking woman, yeah? So boom, walk through the house now, yeah? And... You know, there's certain yards that I've got OCD in it. And from the moment someone opens up their front door, I will know whether or not I should take off my trainers. Yeah? Cause I've got OCD. Yeah. So my spidey sense just goes off. I'm like, this is either a clean house or, or a dirty house. I walked through the house, right? And then she was like, hold on a sec. Can you take your trainers off? All right, cool, innit? There, ain't, there wasn't exactly cat piss all over the floor and dog shit all over the floor, but all right, cool. Uh, it, they weren't clean, but I thought, all right, cool, let me just take off my trainers. And took off my trainers now, and yeah, she got like the, I don't know if you want to call them cat boxes or whatever, not cat litter tray, but you know what a cat will live in or whatever, like a cat house or whatever in it, I don't know. Some little box thing or whatever, and the cat, the cat sleeps in that in the night. She has two side by side or whatever in it, yeah. I was looking around the house and I'm thinking, this house ain't a clean house. Like, why has this woman even made me take off my trainers if the house isn't spotless clean, yeah? So anyway, boom, I've gone out into the back garden and I've met the father, the one who's very passive and aggressive, uh, passive aggressive, he's soft, he's meek, he's weak, yeah? Boom. They've got like a, an extension built, yeah? So they've got an extension, you walk through the extension and you go into the back garden. Now where the extension is, they just got like uh, washing machines and stuff like that. And then there's a, uh, like a WC, like a toilet, yeah, beside it, right? So I walk through and the dad is on top of the flat roof of the extension, I don't know, doing something or whatever. So I'm talking to him like, yeah, long time no seeing. I see you at a competition, but you was miles away, so I can't talk to you. But yeah, how, how you doing or whatever, innit? Yeah? We're talking and he's saying, yeah, I need you to move that light from over there and reinstall it there and this and that, whatever. Yeah. So there was some confusion about what work was going to be done, right? So anyway, we, we, we came to an agreement about what I was going to do, right? Now I said to him, listen, yeah, I've got a drill that needs to be plugged in, right? I need to bring my extension lead, right? Um, and run it through the house, right? But... Your wife said to me, keep the door closed at all times so the cats don't run out because they're house cats. If they run out into the back garden, right, they will disappear, whatever. So you need to keep this door closed, right? So I need to put it through one of the windows, yeah? Put the extension in through the one of the windows, plug it in, and then I can work, right? Next thing you know, yeah, the woman comes out of nowhere because she can hear some kind of confusion between myself and the man. It wasn't an argument or nothing like that. I was just explaining that I need to run the extension cable through the window, and that was that. I don't know if she was listening. I don't know if she got supersonic hearing. I don't know what I'm going for this woman in it yet. Next thing you know, the woman busts through the, the, the extension door. She's like, what's the problem? Yeah. So she's talking to the father, isn't it? Yeah. Proper aggressive and that, isn't it? Yeah? So I'm looking on the floor now, isn't it? Yeah? Like, there's a bit of moss. Moss is like that grassy kind of weedy stuff in between the tiles on the floor in the back garden or whatever. Isn't it? So I'm just kicking the moss or whatever, isn't it? Yeah? I ain't looking at it. I ain't paying attention to her or whatever, isn't it? The father's explained that, oh, Jay said that he needs to run the cable through the window, through the toilet, into, like, the main bit of the house to get power or whatever, isn't it? But he can't close it. He can't close the cable in the door because it will damage his extension, lead, whatever. It is. He's just explaining something so simple to the woman, isn't it? Yeah. She was like, "Do you know what she said? Let me tell you something. Do you know who I am?" I said, "I don't. Know, I don't care who you are, whatever." She's like, "Get the fuck out of my house." Just like that, you know. She said to me, "Do you know who I am?" I said, "I don't care who you are, innit? Yeah. And she's like, "Get out of my house. You're so disrespectful, whatever, innit? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. You want to be rude or whatever, innit? Yeah, that's cool. I ain't doing no work for you, whatever, innit? Yeah, you ain't, I don't give a fuck whose house it is, yeah? It could be the Queen's, it could be my house. No one's bossing me around and talking to me like I'm some idiot, yeah? But she has this ideology that she can talk to men a certain way because her husband's a bitch, not me, yeah? This woman's old enough to be my mum. I don't give a fuck, yeah? I ain't having, taking no shit from nobody, yeah? So, yeah, when I come across women who are like them feminist type of women think that they can boss men around, 
we will definitely clash. Uh, I ain't having none of it. 